hello and welcome back to my channel my beautiful angels my beautiful souls the luminous tribe i love you guys so much i'm so glad that we've hit the next month a new month a new beginning a new light in our life that we've been missing out all along i bless you guys and i pray for your abundance of health love success and wealth and any emotional traumas or situation that you're going through at this point in time that that is healed and recuperated and you feel good about living your life is what i really want to wish for you all okay may this light shine upon you bright 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 so we're going to do a quick pick a card of i don't know what right now but I got this intuition to do a quick card for you guys from the monology deck okay which is going to set the tone of what is it what is it that you need to know anything that you need to know okay anything that's going to help you release release your fear based emotions anything that you need to know for this time see and we we just talked about release and see it's it's time to release negativity maybe this is a message for someone definitely it's a time to release negativity cleanse your aura cleanse your auric field cleanse your house take a cleansing bath okay pile number one pile number two one two and three okay you can definitely go for all three i would suggest you to intuitively take a deep breath and intuitively pick one card more than one all three okay it's totally up to you all right so this is pile number one pile number two pile number three one two three all right so i'm going to start your reading if it is pile number one okay it says believe in the impossible blue moon you know blue moon is like once in a blue moon right that situation so you may be going through a situation that you feel that it is not possible to resolve but believe me when i say this to you guys that even before a problem or an issue arises in your life there is a solution over there the solution is even bigger than your problem okay but what is happening is maybe you are only you know looking at the problem you are uh, putting your entire energy only in the problem and you are not looking at the solution so a lot of you i feel that there is something that you need to believe in either yourself or the people who are here to you know help you somebody who's spiritually guiding you maybe somebody who is a mentor in your life okay um could be really really helping you and see you have been feeling a lot left out in the cold okay you've been feeling a lot demotivated recently you may be feeling that the person whom you love the person you adore or a situation has left you outside and locked the door on you right this is what you it's a possibility that some of you who've tuned in you could be feeling maybe you're feeling um a lack of monetary uh, you know finances as well like for example some checks that is not clear some deals that was inquired about did not materialize or some relationship situation where you feel that oh my god things could have been worked out better but it's not really worked out and that's you must have been feeling remorse you must be feeling hurt you must be feeling very left out in the cold situation right just like you must be feeling a little lonely but the good news here is with the tower card number 16 6 plus 1 is 7 this is number 5 uh with the tower card it gives you an opportunity to reassess your situation look at things from an angle that you have not looked before therefore here is the card that says believe in the impossible right because you need to look at a situation differently okay uh you need to let the cookie crumble uh 
uh, in your you know in your cup of milk so that it can taste better you know what i'm trying to say metaphorically or you need to get a kick up your ass like a rude awakening situation needs to happen in your life for you to realize that a this person is good for me and i have been leaving this person away i'm just giving you an example maybe somebody whom you really um you know were attracting or somebody was attracting or gravitating towards you but you left that person in the cold okay and then you are feeling that okay now this person is moving on and i have no say about it but you are the one who first started this right so this is like another situation similarly you can you know take the situation in hand for your health your family or also maybe at work right however whatever said and done all said and done you got to start believing in the impossibility of you you got to start believing in the impossibility of a situation can become good so all you needed was a rude awakening okay this is what i feel you needed like a kick up the ass you needed to rise above your fear okay i got this message rise about a fear thank you spirit so this is something that you need to remember that you need to remember to rise above your fears and stop feeling the cold vibe maybe the cold is in you and you need to warm up to it okay so believe in the impossible and rise above your fears pile number 1 if uh, this is your reading and you resonate with it please claim it like share subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell icon it's absolutely free and uh, somebody else can read you know read through this reading so i wish you all the best and connect with me for a personal reading if you would like to all right pile number 2 sorry pile number 2 if you've picked pile number 2 this is your reading a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra wow so i can see that there is new romance if this is what you were hoping for and this is what you're looking for this could be a card if not then you can either go to pile 1 or pile 3 and see which is your reading but definitely a new romantic cycle is beginning for a lot of you where i see that now you will be in balance uh, it's a possibility that previously in your relationship you must have lost a balance you know maybe some situation was blocking it and there was out of balance the page of needles um i see there was a lot of immaturity in this situation okay i do see that it's a possibility why it was out of balance was because there was a lot of immaturity in this situation <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry somebody could have felt manipulated or violated that's a situation you know but maybe it's just your own internal feeling it's not really the outside factor but you were not looking at this situation from a mature point of view is what i'm getting just right off the bat okay this is what i'm getting right now a lot of like not taking this relationship seriously and now finally maybe you are going to be taking this uh, you know relationship the ones who were already there taking this relationship seriously and now you're beginning the new romantic cycle uh you know a lot of you could have been going through anxiety with your previous relationship sleepless night um could like there's a lot of there's a lot of air energy here maybe you were dealing with a libra aquarian gemini or you could have a libra aquarian or gemini strongly in your chart dealing you know just trying to balance i see that you were trying to balance this whole thing maybe between work life situation and personal life and it was not working out but you finally kicked that uh, situation and now you feel like okay i am ready to begin again right and i'm ready to start this whole romantic cycle all over again okay that's a message for some um one more card please yeah see you were not having the strength to be in a relationship like it's a possibility that you were all consumed by only work family issues and you know could be some some sort of situation that was holding this relationship back and now you finally feel okay i have the strength to go and approach i want to go and i want to make this right okay i get the situation here the energy that says now i want to make this right you're going to take the matter in your hands yeah yeah three of candles 
<laughs> you are going to take the matter in your hands and and for some it could have been because it's a long distance relationship and you know you were not able to understand how do i make this long distance relationship work you know that situation so that's definitely a possibility that you were not able to understand like how do i make this long distance relationship work so that was hampering your relationship oh but look at this see see this at the end of the day it's the lovers card number six so you are a soulmate you're a twin flame energy okay and you've really realized that no whatever happens at the end of the day i love this person and the person loves me let's start again let's begin again let's just get all the strength to go and approach to this person and tell this person that hey you know what i like you or i love you or let's move in or let's talk about this at least to talk about it right so look at this beautiful card towards the end of the day it's like lovers card so you both are lovers you both are definitely lovers okay number three number nine could be significant number eight could be significant so you've got a eight nine number six could be significant and new moon there's a new romantic cycle definitely for you okay and look at this beautiful lovers card it just gives a validation that you are on the right path by approaching in this relationship and by going you know full on yeah if you do resonate with this reading please do comment below claim it like share subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell icon so somebody else could reach this reading and benefit out of it okay pile number three welcome to my channel if you've picked this pile this is your reading we're gonna pull cards and we're gonna check but let's see what's here communication is key new moon in gemini so definitely a lot of you need to communicate and put your word out there uh, i think a lot of you could be holding on to some emotions you know you must be scared you must be feeling like if i say this a what will the b think if i say b what will the a think you've been hesitant and again with mercury being uh, retrograde on retrograde all along definitely it could have blocked your throat chakra and you must have felt that communication like i'm not able to put my word across i'm not able to put my word on the table you know whether it comes to work it comes to relationship or it also comes to in your family or something like i'm not able to like what i have to say the matter on the table i'm not able to put that across right now so definitely communication is the key a lot of you could, could have had your throat chakra blocked and that could have been affecting some sort of communication mercury retrograde definitely you can blame it on that ace of presence wow so for a lot of you if you communicate rightly you will be receiving new money there's going to be a new windfall of money new business new something new that's going to give you the luxury that's going to give you the materialistic satisfaction okay definitely money is coming my friend all you need to do is maintain balance with the temperance card here i see that you need to maintain the balance okay uh, there has been something that is off balance and this is going to be like a divine blessing coming your way where you will receive windfall of money new money could be any amount see i do not know what is the right amount for you for some you know even like 100 is great and for some even million does not make sense right and look at this six of portions beautiful card so there's going to be a lot of give and take happening you need to give to get some you know this is a message that i get so that's how you maintain the balance okay that's how you need to maintain the balance in your life okay a when you put your word across you will be able to hear but you should be ready to hear the situation and you need to give some to get some because you are definitely receiving a windfall of money okay you're definitely receiving some sort of new money new luck new beginning new career opportunity something new coming in your life but you gotta give some to get some is what i'm receiving and this is going to be like a very divinely guided transaction in your life my pile number three okay absolutely divinely guided uh, transaction in your life and some of you it's a possibility that your past must be coming back in your life um, i see like you'll be going through a very nostalgic feeling uh, either you'll be meeting friends from the past 
or family members that you've lost in touch with or some sort of uh, you know uh, communication is happening for sure virtually or personally where you're walking down the street and you happen to meet an old friend an old flame an old girlfriend like some sort of nostalgic feeling is definitely coming your way okay somebody from the past is knocking at your door so you got to be careful maybe there could be somebody from the past coming with this new money okay but just do not forget to maintain the balance in your life because you're divinely guided and do communicate with love be assertive but don't be rude okay so claim if this is your reading pile number three if not you can also go and check pile number one and pile number two and do like share, uh, comment and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell icon it's absolutely free and somebody else can reach here who needs this reading i love you all till we meet again take care of yourself goodbye